Can anybody see the cascading Guinness here? I was told that I need to let this sit and not drink it until she comes back. <laughs> so don't screw up this time, Greg. So I'm going live in my group here. And we are looking at a live cast, or well, I'm looking at a live cast getting Guinness. No one else is. Um, <laughs> uh, hey, Scott, what's going on? So. Nitro technology was developed. Yeah, and I'm waiting for my waitress to come back to um, fill this up. Apparently, there's a process to this. Here she comes. Here comes Jordan. Hi, Jordan. Part four. We have the first part right here. It takes 119 and a half seconds. So I'll be right back with the second part. 119 and a half. Just half a second shy of two minutes. I'll be do, back. This is last do you count that half? You okay. Well, actually, this is last call, guys. The so poor comment does itself. So you see when we first started. Last call how it cascaded up and now it's all one solid color. Yep. Okay. I think I'm a little bit over now because I was talking. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you're you're live on Facebook, but that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, Brock. I don't know. I can't. Um, when she comes back, I'm going to try to uh, cut, uh, load in a little bit closer here. She's down there filling it. So they go and then they fill it and then so, yeah, continue to tell us the process, Jordan. Your perfect fight. Mm. So you can see it's kind of cascading over the top there. Yeah. That nice foamy head at the top. And then, of course, you can taste it and give your ears your opinion. Oh. Well, yeah, you probably, you guys probably, look at this. Look, <laughs> look at, listen, let's just sit here and look at this loveliness. <laughs> like, <laughs> let's just sit here, take a deep <laughs> breath, <laughs> in. Ow, look at that. Say hi, Jordan. Hey. Everybody say hi to Jordan. Jordan's awesome. She's been here. She was here yesterday. She's friendly, wonderful, great face who is absolutely telling us what's up. Uh, look at that. We're seeing the witness while working. Sorry, bro. I'm thinking maybe another 10 seconds. You can see at the top here, it's still kind of settling just a little bit there. So I should wait a little? A little. You can go ahead and drink it I now. can go ahead, but... But once it kind of has this consistency at the bottom, that nice ruby red color, you'll be good to go. This is, a pro this is what I was talking about when I said I wanted to come in for a proper pint of the Guinness Stout. Freshest that I'll probably be able to get here. Um, if I don't get a good picture, we are no longer friends. <laughs> and my friend Joe says, hi, Jordan. Hey. <laughs> Jordan is awesome. Among all the other staff here, they're being friendly. I mean, this place has been open how many days, Jordan? Six. Six Today days. Day. So it hasn't even been open a week. So I need to stop talking and drink this beer. So here we go. Mm -mm. Smooth, light, refreshing, little bit of roast. I mean, I, I've never had a better one, I don't think. It's just so damn good. Man, 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 man. Um, so I gotta, yeah, so, so go live, yeah, so. Let's take you around this room. Let's take you. I got a. We are on. We are at a you know beer blogger conference, so we're gonna leave soon for Dogfish Head. Um, so let me show you guys. Here is the um, nothing left in the stash. Absolutely nice shirt. You got one too. Really, 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 Robert. That's cool. Salante. So this is the uh, obviously the um, you know the concession area where they have neat stuff, and I'm gonna have to like leave you guys soon, and I need to buy something for the lady. Hi right, Michelle, you watching this? I oh, know you're at work. Okay, so sorry if I'm going fast, guys. I wanna. No, I didn't leave that beer. It's right here. <laughs> so um, 
you can see, yeah, this place is big, man. It's, it's big, it's expansive. So then, this is the guy right here. This guy knows, this is, this, that's the guy right there. He's, he's the man. I'm on Facebook Live, so. <laughs> Here's the toucan. Um, we had a big old talk about this toucan, about how legendary it is. Um, this, th this art is from uh, like, you know, 60, 70 years ago. Um, you know, Guinness is just, I don't know, man. I'm blown away by how, uh, for quote big beer place, they really are really making themselves um, accessible to the community. Um, they have a nice, wonderful restaurant here that they're going to be opening, but they're still going to use food carts in their area here that I'm about to show you. I love that. Yeah, Berg, this place is, it's really out of control. Um, it's really how, out of control how cool it is. Relax, take your time. Their first brew release was for 9,000 years. What was it? 50 pounds per month? Steel. So this is the barrel tasting room. We had our, we had two food pairings in here. Um, we had lunch today. We had dinner yesterday in this room. And it was fantastic. <laughs> um, I'm just letting you guys know that Guinness does much more beer than just the wonderful, lovely stout here. I mean, look at the head retention on that bad boy. <laughs> um, so let's go over here quick before I have to leave because we're leaving to go to Dogfish Head in Delaware. And we're going to have dinner with Sam the Man. So this is going to be fun this evening. So then here's outside. Yeah, this is, if you ever come here, get the Brussels sprouts with bacon. Mm, man, I'm telling you right now, <laughs> the Brussels sprouts with bacon in this place. Oh, <laughs> so maybe I can, I wonder if I can go out here. So then here's the outdoor area here. Um, <coughs> can you see, you see those three buildings in the background? This is all a part of the campus. Um, they bought, this used to be Seagram's. And in fact, I think in the third one, or the second one to the, um, to the right there, um, they have, they still have a whole bunch of barrels of Captain Morgan Spice Rum. Um, this place used to be a distillery, and they're changing it to a brewery. I don't know if you guys know, but um, Guinness was bought by a distillery. So they're owned by a distillery place. So um, they're eventually moving the distillery stuff out of here. Um, and this is all going to be, you know, these three buildings you see in the back, one of them already has, um, what do you say, like 250 barrels of barrel aging already. And one of them is going to be a sour house. Um, they have the, the, the brewer of Jolly Pumpkin is now the head brewer here. So they're going to be doing sours. They got a black IPA. They got a, a white ale that I thought was fantastic. Um, it's just, I, I, this place really gives you... They're really trying to give you a, you know, a, a small craft beer feel, you know, from a, let's see, a big, you know, a big beer brewery. But I don't even, I feel even weird calling them a big brewery, you know, knowing what I know about them. But you can see the Irish flag in the back, or Ireland. Um, and I'm not sure what the other one is. But yeah, down there they have, um, you know, just places outside. It's pretty damn hot, so everybody's in here. But I'm over here. Let me see here real quick. Out here is where they have a, you know, they have a, you know, a nice little lawn there. You see that lawn there? Apparently it's um, shaped like a pint glass. So I can't show you that here, but I can say that it's shaped like a pint glass. And then right there where I'm showing you, um, they're gonna have food carts from local community. Yes, they have their own kitchen, but um, they're really, really trying to integrate with the community here. So they bring in food carts for the weekend. Um, you know, probably at the expense of their restaurant, um, just to make sure and to bring the community into this brewery. They really are trying to be, you know, a local community 
Um, this will be the jumping off point for Guinness in America. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, this place has been open, what, Jordan just said, this place has been open six days. It's just, again, it's just really, really nice. Um, really impressed about the hospitality. Um, the people who are here are just, they're just all happy. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the early part, but Jordan was talking about how um, happy she was to work here. Um, they called her in today um, to see, you know, to work. And she's like, yes, I work extra because she's just so happy here. So, um, yeah, um, this is this is Guinness and it was just. It's just such a good time and <laughs> yeah this is the first purpose-built Guinness brewery in America um, we'll probably be brewing in Baltimore and um, what the brewmaster said was that you know they want this brewery to be you know they want it to be Guinness obviously and Guinness is you know has its legendary um, you know story with it but they really want this place to be um like american version of guinness you know where it has the wonderful stout that everybody loves and it's tasty fantastic it hasn't tasted any better um but they really want to try to um you know bring an american twist to guinness so that's why they hired american brewers i'm um, the head brewer here is the brewer the former brewer of, it was the former brewer of Jolly Pumpkin. So then that is the um, sour angle. I put in a group that um, they're gonna be doing sours here. In fact, they already done sours, but you know, you gotta wait like 6,000 years for the sours to mature. But um, they're gonna be doing sours here. They got a black IPA, they got a Northwest IPA. Black IPA is fantastic. Um, and of course, you know, I gotta say black IPAs matter. But, um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, this, this place really gives you a feel of a small craft beer place, but obviously it's not a small craft beer place. <laughs> so yeah, um, good times. We are, oh, let's go out here. We are soon gonna be leaving and headed to Delaware, but until then, Ugh, mug e, yuck. So then here is the parking lot. A beautiful day, unless it was mugged out. So yeah, the, um, yeah, again, those three buildings in the back there, they're, they're it's all part of the property here. Those silver tanks there, um, they hold distilled. Yeah, you know, I can't say they hold. Captain Morgan's run, but Captain Morgan's is here somewhere. But they hold this, those are distilled spirits there. Um, the distilled spirits are slowly moving out to another facility, and soon that will be beer. Um, all of it will be beer, and all of it will be Guinness. Um, everything but the stout will be brewed here, um, including the wonderful lager that everybody hates, and all the other beers. All those, every beer besides the stout. It's going to be brewed here for America. So there'll be no more shipping. The only thing they're gonna ship here is the stout. And well, they need to ship the stout because um, this facility uses Baltimore water. And they would have to treat the Baltimore water um, in order to make the stout. So I guess they don't, I don't know if that's the reason. I think the reason is they wanna keep the integrity of the beer. I don't know, he said something about it, but um, it's again i'm just blown away by this place and i'm really more blown away by the um the business model and how they're embracing the community and how they really want to get you know they they you know the brewmaster said that they've already collaborated with um a couple breweries a couple local small breweries and i just think that's amazing that um you know again a big brewer like uh guinness is willing to you know, collaborate with somebody, you know, a little nano brewery or something. So, um, yeah, again, I'm just blown away by this place. I'm talking to the people who here who work here. 
and people who make this facility go has really inspired me to really, you know, talk about Guinness in a very positive way. And it's not just about this wonderful, beautiful, great stout um, that they um, make. Um, they're making some fantastic beers here. And I just would implore you, everybody to open their mind to Guinness because, again, Guinness isn't just a stout. And, um, you know, apparently they care about doing things right via their community. And I don't know, I'm just, you know, this thing is fantastic, I really do. Um, so soon we will have to leave this wonderful area here. Actually, let's go downstairs. The stout meaning just the standard Guinness trout. Yes, sir. Um, I don't, I'm not sure about the extra stout and the foreign stout, Rob. Um, I, I can ask that question. So I'm gonna go downstairs here and show you guys the, the working brewery here. It's a, or no, 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 this is a, this is their 10 barrel. This is their 10, is it 10 barrel? 10 barrel system? Um, oh man, I, when I was outside, I forgot to show you guys their, what is it, 82 barrel system? Maybe I'll go back out. This is just their 10 barrel system. I think they do a lot of their, um, you know, experimental brews and, um, you know, one-offs and stuff like that. I don't know if they have one-offs yet, but I hear this talk of that. So we're going down here. So I'm not supposed to show this how we brew thing, so I didn't show it. <laughs> but I'm not supposed to show that because apparently there were some errors, so I'm not showing that. <laughs> but apparently there were some errors in that printing there, um, so we were supposed to not show that is what we're called. So anything we can, anything we can, oh. Push, Greg, push. Directions hard after all day drinking. Anything we can dream up, we get the brew up. And from what I know, it's true. Um, they're given, you know, obviously they're not given, you know, in a, you know, the old recipes are not given any discretion, but they don't make those here from what I know. So I need to figure that out. I'm gonna answer your question though, but here we go. Um, I'm gonna answer your question though, Rob. But, um, so, and then you guys can see where they come in. And then you go in here, but I have to, hold on. No, I have to have a key to get in there. I was trying to get in there. So then let me, uh, let me show you this real quick and then I'm gonna have to sign off so I can make my trip. But this is the walking tour that they have. So you can see here, House of Seagrams. It's just showing off their, um, you know, the history of this place, which is, again, this is a distillery changed into a brew house. So this is the House of Seagrams. Uh, just some old little artifacts here. So here's a little fun thing here. The, the clock is at 6.59. When you translate 6.59, or no, I'm sorry, 5.59 into military time, that comes out to 17.59, which is the year that Guinness was born. So there you go. Jonas, I will be leave, we will be leaving momentarily, and in fact, if I don't get upstairs soon, I might be left. Well, not that drastic, but we are leaving very shortly. Um, actually, we're behind from what our schedule says, because we should be on the road to see Dr. Shetty. Um, but yeah, we're kind of on the schedule, buddy. Um, so, I guess we, we've always been on, always known where to find a good drink. So, that's just... 
So we got that. So then in this window right here is, as the guy told us, <laughs> this is where they're going to be barreling. Um, this is part of the barrel thing, but this is more of, at this point he said, um, an aesthetic thing or a thing for people to see. Um, but yeah, this is part of where they're going to be barreling. So then, a little bit of self-made tour or self-tour here. And then, apparently this picture was taken here, not in um, Dublin. Um, apparently they've been stacking up barrels and all the barrels are from here. So, what's next is the brewing after 50 years, everything. <laughs> yeah, so this is the, you know, obviously the ingredients of beer, and most of us know this by now, so I won't belabor this point, but obviously you have water, malts, hops, and surprise, spoiler alert, yeast. <laughs> so we will... Let's see here. Uh, am I taking you guys outside now? These guys are gonna leave me. <laughs> uh, or maybe not. Let's go out. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so we are out here now. We're in the we're in the outside here. On the lower end. I took you guys outside earlier, but this is that. Oh my god, man, the wonderful harp. This is a restaurant veggie garden. Look for items when they start getting going here. Remember, this place is what? Not even a week old. So, of course. So, then this is where, right now, focus, laser focus on that white building right there. Anything we can dream up, we get the brew up. Um, for the most part, I think that's true. And I think, you know, what they're saying is true as far as, you know, having a sour program. Having a black IPA, having an apricot infused, blah, 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 blah. Um, these guys are really giving the leeway to do some things. Obviously, again, not with the wonderful stout that everybody knows. <laughs> but, um, you know, with everything else, and, you know, here's the outdoor area here. Damn, it's hot in Baltimore. <laughs> I'll give you guys a 360. And I mean, no one's really here yet, obviously, as you can see. But, um, yeah, it's this. And then they have a nice little outdoor bar here where, oops, almost tripped. Um, we can see a lot of the beer bloggers. Actually, hold on, I'll go closer. You guys can see where we have our stuff. And... Joel Gratzik, say hi to Ben Porter's Beer Group. Hello. You are obviously a member of that. <laughs> A little, yeah, yeah. So, how you been, buddy? Great. I think I've tried everything in the tap room once. There's about 20 things on tap. 16. But yes. <laughs> no, 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 I'm sorry. I'm just. <laughs> well, we're well, right. And I only know because I tasted them all and wrote them all down. But yeah, yeah. So, um, I'm just giving everybody a tour and a group of where we're at and how we're having a good old time. Hello. Hi. <laughs> and, um, I don't know. I'm just explaining how fantastic this place is and how you know blown away i am about just everything they're doing here whether it be community whether it be about the beer i mean all these buildings here sours sours guinness sours sorry vicky i know i, I love you vicky but i know you don't like sours but <laughs> some of us do right <laughs> right Yes, Robert, um, it's interesting that they have the Jolly Pumpkin Brewer, yep, um, and he's very, um, you know, as Jolly Pumpkin is, he's very passionate about the sours, and he's ready to bring them, so um, I'm going to find my tribe, guys, and I'm going to let you guys go, but it was cool to give you guys a view into what the heck is going on, and why in the hell would Greg ever not go to the Great Taste of the Midwest? And that would be because of this. <laughs> and it wasn't an easy decision, but I took a week of 
you know, find, you know, going to Guinness and Dogfish Head, I figured that that would be a good enough reason to miss the greatest beer festival in the world. So while I am upset and I'm not happy about missing the greatest beer festival in the world, um, this is a great consolation prize, and I am very happy <laughs> to have this opportunity to come here within a week of it being open. So cheers, cheers, quadruple cheers. I can't give enough cheers. I'm going to try to give you guys a look of Dogfish Head brew pub when we get there I can't obviously um, compensate for bad um, reception or no Wi-Fi but I'm going to do my best um, pushing the cobble from James Gate Hey, Robert, are you going over to James Gate? I know you're going to Europe soon. Oh, you're going to Oktoberfest, though. Man, we need to go over to James Gate. Maybe we need to plan this as, you know, something we do together. But I need to get over to, I need to get over to Guinness over there. Because I'm just, again, blown away by everything they're doing here. And I really would like to, you know, get the original one. So... Here are the beer bloggers. I don't know if you guys want to meet any. Hi, Rita. Rita is in the Daddy Porter Beer Group. Rita's in Chicago. Rita, um, everybody's been hearing me gush over Guinness. So can you tell us your opinion about Guinness and where you feel after being here? So you're saying that Guinness can make more styles but a stout? <laughs> well, I don't know if many people know that. And mm. I can attest that it's tasty as hell. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So thanks, for, thank you for and say cheers. Yeah, yeah. Here's another one of our group members. Jeremy Highland, what's going on? What were your highlights of this deal? What do you got? What you like about, or what did you like about Guinness, or what you hate about it? Nothing to hate. Okay. <laughs> I could keep drinking the trash uh, over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> Great, Sterling. Hey. How you doing, buddy? Doing say right. hi to our, say hi to my beer group. Hey. Um, I need to add you if you're on Facebook. We need to work on that. But um, you got any takeaways from this place? I didn't like Guinness before. I had a bad experience. Somebody gave me poured a can for me once. Yep. And I was like, Guinness, mm, not my thing. Mm -hmm. A lot more here than just one, one beer. Um, but well, was it? Did you have a good time with the regular oh, stout when you had it? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you were awesome. Awesome. Uh, Brian, don't don't shy away. Uh, What's up, it's Brian? Uh, What's going on? You're, we're live, Daddy Porter's Face Group group. So, um, you got any takeaways from the short time that you were here because you had travel issues? Oh, God. Uh, which, tour. What you have to drink? Yeah. Uh, what you have to drink, though? Uh, pretty much over half of this stuff here. The, uh, You've been here, what, an hour? Uh, <laughs> uh, was good. Oh, yeah. Uh, the uh, Belgian or the apricot was. Uh, the barrel yep. age was ridiculous because apparently there's a cooperage like right over here or something. Yes, yes, they have a cooperage <laughs> on this campus. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Yep. The Northwest wasn't bad. It was different. A lot darker. Uh, I thought it was approachable. The Northwest IPA. I actually really, really liked it. Hoppier, but darker malt. Like, yes. Color. Yes, yes, yes. It threw everybody off. I was almost even like. I was almost even like, it's just the right beer. But I didn't say that because I know that these guys know their stuff. They really, really do. Like, I had to have a good uh, traditional Guinness. You know, it's good. You, oh, yeah. I'm having one of those now. And we're off to Dogfish Head soon. Um, so, yeah, I'm just showing a group this real quick. And then we will... Um, 
I don't know. I love these guys. Paige, Rick. Love them. This guy in the back is fantastic. If he's not in a, he's not in a group now, he's going to be at it soon. <laughs> he's fantastic. He's from L.A. So, um, I think I showed you guys everywhere I could show you. Um, Ireland is on my short list. Yeah, I, I'm willing a year or two. I don't know about if I could do it next year. I could do it the year after, though. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, it needs to be on my list, and we need to spend some time there. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm going to give you guys one last shot, and then I need to recharge my battery. But, um, yeah, um, highly recommend it if you're in the Baltimore area. Please come here and um, show them some love. Here, actually... Hungry? Okay, so we had, what did we have yesterday? We had the bay fried Brussels sprouts with crispy bacon and the house mustard. I'm telling you people, I'm not even a Brussels sprouts person. <laughs> and it was fantastic. Um, we had the chef, uh, we had the chicken tenders, that was good, and we also had the stack mix yesterday. Um, they were pretty good, but the, the Brussels sprouts were just amazing. I don't know if you could see, but like, they're trying to do, they're trying to do a higher end kind of, you know, not just normal, you know, fried pub food. I don't think we see, I don't see a burger on here. Um, damn, an oyster pole boy, I didn't even see that. <laughs> But this is all a part of our, um, we paid $25 for this, and um, it was all, we, had, we got two meals, and we pretty much got to drink all the Guinness beer we can while we're here, so, um, just a fantastic value, a great time. Um, this is what you can do in the tap room. We're going to have a, um, a restaurant upstairs, I can't tell, I can't take you there, but um, they're going to have a restaurant upstairs, you know, high-end 